Hello, very warm welcome. United back in action once again. As games come thick and fast, we take on Southampton at Old Trafford. 8.15 kickoff, live on BT Sport. Manchester United in horrible form with getting one point from six, a loss to Sheffield United and a very bad point against Arsenal. We need to bounce back. And there's no better way to bounce back than getting a victory at home against Southampton. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game. I want to see a response by United. Last two games we've been lethargic, not up to our usual standard. I want to see a response. It's an 8-15 kickoff. Yeah, um, United have to win this game. It's must win, but we've said that for the last two games. And look what the team have done. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Now he loves to change four or five players all the time. He always makes four or five changes. I want to see a bit of consistency with the team. And yeah, because chopping and changing, that's not good for team ethic. Because you can't get a rhythm going with four or five changes all the time. Southampton are going through a sticky patch themselves. They lost to Aston Villa. I actually did a watch along to that in the second half. Uh, the away game was very entertaining at St Mary's 3 2. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that game. I remember Cavani scored. Um, cannot give set pieces and free kicks away against Southampton. Ward Prowse is one of the best free kick corner takers out there. So we cannot be giving stupid free kicks away on the edge of the box. Or anywhere on the pitch, to be honest. Because Ward-Prowse is absolutely deadly on set pieces. Um, yeah. They've got some dangerous players as well, Southampton. The likes of uh, Romeo, Ings, Adams, Armstrong. Armstrong really impressed me on the Villa watch along. And the Arsenal game before that. Have to get back on track. Start winning. Harsen Hootel has done an amazing job. Considering this, he got beat 9-0 by Leicester. What a turnaround for Harsen Hootel. We are fighting for top four. In my opinion, we cannot win the title. I mean, if you cannot beat Sheffield United at home and beat a poor Arsenal side, then forget the title. We'll be fighting for top four. But if we do finish second, I suppose it is progress. But, of course, we want the big trophies. Don't want to be having to finish second, do we? Um, but, yeah, I mean, you got to be up for every game in the Premier League. And to lose to Sheffield United was a disaster. And then to draw to Arsenal. One point from six. I mean, terrible. Um, we're in for a very tough game. Southampton are a decent team. And we can't underestimate them. It it will bite us on the arse. Um yeah, and obviously Leeds did us a favour. Leicester had the chance to go second. We could have been going into this game third, but Leeds United actually beat Leicester, so that helped us. Manchester United second. We've won 12, drawn f 5, lost 4. Southampton 11th, won 8, drawn 5, lost 7. We have to get back to winning ways. My team would be as follows. David De Gea in goal. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Bailly. I want to see Bailly play. He's one of the best centre-backs, if not the best centre-back at the football club. So play him. And him and Maguire actually look a better unit because Bailly's quick. Harry Maguire, obviously captain, he's going to play. Played nearly every... Well, has he played all the Premier League minutes? I think he has. Luke Shaw, left-back. Then midfield will be a change. We don't know yet if Scott McTominay is back from the shits. Um, so obviously went off with stomach issues. McTominay had the shits. Pogba, Fred. Then I want pace up top. Bruno, Rashford, Marshall, Greenwood. I, I think we've got to play. We've got to play to our strengths, which is hitting them on the counter. Greenwood, Rashford, Marshall. Now Marshall and Rashford have been in poor form, but we're not going to play the likes of uh, Dan James 
etc. So they'll keep their place. And then we have it preview done. It will be a late one on Tuesday, just after 10 o'clock for match reaction. I'm looking forward to this game, but this will be a tough game. And I don't want to see us giving stupid free kicks away because Ward Prowse is very dangerous. That really does scare me, to be honest. Um, yeah, scares me quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Manchester United. Really looking forward to the game. Manchester United have to bounce back. Last two games have not been acceptable. One point from six is simply not good enough. It's a must-win game again. And what United's going to turn up? Because even when we were on the good run, we wasn't playing well. Burnley, Fulham, we didn't play well, but we scraped the result. We didn't get away with it against Sheffield. And Arsenal, still annoyed with that result today. Uh, because Arsenal, it's, it's Arsenal... Very poor side. And they, we only got one point off him this season. Wow. Comment down below. Would love to know your thoughts. And there we have it. Manchester United v Southampton. Tuesday night. I can't wait. Come on United. Gotta get back to winning ways. Must win.